In this video, I want to walk you through the step how to create a SQL database in Microsoft Azure and how to connect to the database in SQL Server Management Studio. All right, so first we want to navigate to the uh, address homepage by navigate to portal.azure.com. Now here we want to search for SQL databases. On the SQL databases page, here we want to click on create. Now here we need to select the subscription and the resource group that this uh, SQL database belongs to. All right, so here I'm going to uh, create a new resource group. And I'll name the resource group. Let's do uh, SQL database demo. Now for the database name, I'll name the database sample db now when you create a database you need to have a server to contain the uh, database or databases now here i'm going to create a new server so i'm going to click on create new now for the server name i'll name the server uh, let's do sql database demo and for the location make sure that you set the location as the same location as the resource group that you select and as for the authentication method I'll choose use SQL authentication. And the reason why I prefer to use SQL authentication is because I run into too many issues when I use Azure AD authentication method. And to keep things simple, I usually just use uh, SQL authentication uh, directly. All right, so here we need to create a set of uh, user ID and password as the admin access. Now as for this uh, option, do you want to use SQL Elastic Pool? So basically what that means is do you want to uh, share resources among each databases uh, based on this uh, SQL server that uh, you assign. And for demonstration purpose, I'm going to say no. All right, so right now uh, the estimate cost is $372.97. And that's because uh, our workload is set to production at this point. And when your workload is set to production, it's going to uh, choose the uh, most expensive, not most expensive, it's going to use a, a more premium tier. So in this case, uh, our tier is set to general purpose. And the database will run in basically 24 seven until you stop uh, the instance. Now instead, I'm going to choose development and that's going to set the tier to serverless. And that means, uh, I only get charts while I actually use the uh, SQL Server instance. Now, if we look at the estimate cost, now the price dropped to uh, $4.78 for the storage and 0 0.00145 USD for the usage per second. So it's very unlikely that you're going to exceed uh, $5, I assume not even $5, if you don't intend to uh, heavily use the uh, SQL Server uh, instance. Right, so I guess we'll finish with uh, the basic setup. Now I want to go to the next tab, which is going to be uh, networking. Now here for the network connectivity, I'm going to choose a public endpoint because I want other uh, applications to be able to access the uh, database. Now for the firewall rules, so I want to make sure that I set this option, allow address services and resources to access this server to yes. And I also set the current client IP address to yes. And this just means that I want to limit just my PC's IP address to be able to access the uh, SQL database. Right, so this is going to be everything that we need to do on the networking uh, page. Right, so the next one is going to be uh, security. On this tab, I want to uh, set everything as default and go to the next tab. Now for the data source, I'm going to uh, upload the sample database, which is going to be this AdventureWorks LTE database. And click on next. Now on this text tab, we can send different uh, key value pairs to assign to this uh, database instance. But for now, I'm going to skip this step and I'll go to review and create. Now review the information and make sure that everything is correct. Then you can click on create to create the uh, server and the database. 
Right, so the uh, the deployment is going to take about two to five minutes, depending on how busy the server is. So let's just wait uh, until the deployment is finished. It looks like the uh, deployment is complete. Right, so here I want to go back to the homepage. I want to um, start from scratch. Now, assuming that we are going to uh, re-log into our address account. Now in the search bar, search for SQL servers this time. So we'll create the uh, database the first time. And because we don't have a server available, so we'll create a new one. And this is where the uh, server is located. Now click into the uh, SQL server instance. Now if we go to uh, SQL databases, now here's the sample database that I just created uh, before. Now if you click into the uh, database, it's going to directly takes you to the overview page. Now to connect to this database in SQL Server Management Studio. Now here uh, launch your SQL Server Management Studio. Now from the authentication type, we want to make sure that we select SQL Server Authentication. Now for the server address, and it's going to be the server name. So I'm going to copy the server name. And now copy and paste. And the login is going to be the uh, admin's credential that you created. And I'll save the password and connect. Now if I expand the databases folder, and here's the uh, sample database that we created in Azure. Right, so if I look into the tables folder, and here are the tables from the sample DB database. Now if I create a new query, now here if I go ahead and run a sample slash daemon, let's do sales uh, LT table, the address, and I'll just create the top 10 records. And plus I fight to run the query. And it's going to return the uh, first 10 records from the address table. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys find this video useful. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.